Hi guys, welcome back to the hobby farm. Um, today we gotta go get Petey. We're gonna move him back home here. Sorry, something on my lens. But lately I've been out cutting hay field. You can see it way out there. It's all cut and been ted once, so we're gonna let it lay today. How much stuff you got left? Bringing them. Go out here, open the door. Petey needs a bath. Why you put them on that one? Oh, you gotta do the chain. <laughs> Shut it. It's fine. All right, we got him home. Just gotta get his bed, his uh, bed, stall bedded, and get him in the stall and get this stuff put away. And I got a few other things I gotta get done today, and. Uh, Maybe we'll bail some hay. I don't know yet, though. All right, we'll talk to you guys in a minute. Oh. It's all right, Petey. <clears throat> all right, guys. Welcome back to the hobby farm. It's the next day, well actually two days later, um, from when I was getting the machinery ready to do hay. Now, I've already cut the hay field and raked it up, and we bailed some last night. So, I just couldn't film because it was just me and my wife. I just didn't have enough time to hold on to the camera and all that good stuff. So, I'll try to get some film today of us unloading and bailing the rest of it, because we bailed most of it last night. So sit back and relax and enjoy the video I gotta get this hay rake on hooked from uh, my Ford 5000 and uh, what I'm gonna do is go back and get the wagon of hay that we bailed last night get it pulled up to the hay barn and get it ready to be unloaded uh, it's about 7 a.m. in the morning so there's a lot of dew right now so just kind of getting things prepared to get done today so Let's get this done first. John Deere rake. It's, I mean, it's old, but uh, it does the job. All right, let's go back and get that hay wag. All right, well, we'll get it put in here and uh, go 
go from there. I don't have my uh, hay lift up and running, so we're gonna have to fill up here and then throw into the loft. Unless I can throw these bales up there, but that's 120 bales. We'll see. They're not very heavy. So I can get the girls uh, unloaded into here, and then I'll just throw it up to my wife up there and she can stack it. Something like that. All right, sit back and relax. Oh, here's the baby and mama running. if you guys can see them that's why I wish I had a camera with zoom on it I do have one but uh just doesn't take very good video it's real grainy and stuff um, and... <laughs> guys that's one wagon down probably only got maybe two more uh, the fort the field just didn't produce this year it needs reseeded but we got the whole wagon up there and normally we have a hay loft or a hay lift but it's broke right now so <clears throat> I get to be the hay lift and it's not fun but these bales aren't that heavy so I'm gonna take these first bales that come out of the baler over to the cows get a drink of water next time you see me, we should be out in the field bailing hay. Stay tuned. You sit real still there, buddy, okay?
right guys this field is done now normally we're stacked all the way across that high and actually further up but we got 308 bales off that field typically we get 800 so it's time to reseed for sure and fertilize but we got two more fields to do they're just they're smaller than these but uh you know they're not on the farm so that makes them that much harder to do but i'm done for the day more out and uh if you guys like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe i'll catch you guys later